Please identify yourself for the record and continue with your testimony. Thank you, Mr. Chair and committee members. My name is Paula Ramaley, and I am a Minnetonka City Council member. I'm here in support of the bill. Um, Minnetonka has used ranked choice voting uh, for city council elections for two cycles now, and I was elected to council in Ward 3 this past November. I was a first-time candidate. I ran for an open seat against two other candidates, and I won by a margin of four votes. And that result was confirmed by a recount that was conducted superbly by our election staff. Now, this was Minnetonka's second RCV election, and for voters, it brought more choices, more engagement, and more turnout. For candidates, including myself, it encouraged us to, be, to do more outreach, and it also encouraged more civility. And it also meant that our voices and ideas weren't extinguished in a low turnout August primary. Under our old system in Minnetonka, primary turnout in August averaged 5%, and that discouraged candidates from running unless they had strong local networks as a real estate broker or a lawyer or something similar. But RCV doesn't have primaries, and that meant that all three candidates in my race had their voices heard in the marketplace of ideas all the way up until election day. Because candidates need to earn second choice as well as first choice votes, RCV incentivized us to reach out to a wider range of voters. It also encouraged candidate civility because going negative isn't just wrong, it alienates potential second, vote, second choice votes. RCV has dramatically increased voter turnout in Minnetonka. Last year, we were at double that of similar cycles in the past, 100% increase. In sum, with RCV, more candidates are running, engaging, and listening to residents, and they're campaigning in a respectful manner. This, in turn, has fueled greater voter turnout, which may well be why residents voted resoundingly against an effort to repeal RCV in 2023. I think Minnetonka's, Minnetonka's experience proves that smaller cities like ours can transition to RCV successfully, and it will be even easier for them to do so with the standards and equipment that this bill also provides. So again, I thank you for your time and attention, and I encourage the committee to approve this bill so that all Minnesota communities have the option to adopt RCV. Thank you.